Hi, this is Ethan from Dark Zebra, and uh, I just want to do a quick video today on the difference between a sub-document and an embedded field. Unfortunately, I've been using them kind of interchangeably, and there is a very important difference, um, and especially when we're dealing with queries, and I just wanted to cover that quickly. For instance, if I wanted to search by a author's last name, um, I can pass in with the dot notation the author's last name, author dot last name, and set it to Steinbeck. This is what's called an embedded field. I'm searching for a field embedded within a sub document. And that's going to return one record for me. But I can also search for an entire sub document. And that would be if I pass an author and then a sub document. So I would have to pass in first name equals John and last name equals Steinbeck. This is actually searching by the sub document and it means the entire sub document. So I find the same record, but the important thing here is it has to match up exactly. It means that I have to have all of the same fields and values and they have to appear in the same order that they do in the record. So if I change this to say only include the last name of Steinbeck, I will not find any records. And if I change the order so that first name comes after last name, I will also not find any records. So remember that embedded fields search for properties inside of subdocuments, while the subdocument searches for anything that matches exactly the past in subdocument. Just wanted to explain that and clear it up a little bit. Have a great day. Remember to subscribe and like the video. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for watching this Dark Zebra presentation. Please rate this video and add it to your favorites if you liked it. For additional content, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at darkzebra.com.